Hey y'all, welcome back to My Sister Cooks. It has been almost two weeks since I have been in the kitchen with y'all. Maybe not quite 14 days, maybe like 10 or 11 days. Um, and I missed y'all and I'm happy to bring y'all along with me today while I do two projects. Part of the reason why it's been a minute since I have promised to be a better YouTuber is that I am still at work. Um, schools up north go to the end of June, like the very last week of June. So I am tired. I am <laughs> winding down the school year, which is also a very stressful <clears throat> uh, time for uh, high school. I teach 12th grade. So yes, this is crunch time. Um, some of my favorite YouTubers uh, put out content like every two days and they are full-time YouTubers and full-time content creators and I am not. So Anyhow, I do have two excited projects that I'm working on today and I'm excited to have y'all with me today in the kitchen. It's actually Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all of the fathers that are joining me today. So being that it is June, strawberries are in season. So I think I got each one of these for $1.50. Um, I really don't remember the price, but I know it wasn't over $2. It's probably $1.50. So I want to try to make some jam today to try to preserve these and I think one of these I'm gonna pop in the freezer for smoothies so I'm gonna use these three for some jam and nope I have never made jam before so this is my first time and nope I have also never made pickles before which is the second project that I want to get to today so today I'm doing two first and we'll just see how it comes out all right, y'all, so this recipe calls for a pound of strawberries cut up, um, two tablespoons of lemon, one and a half cups of sugar, um, but I am cutting the sugar down to two thirds of a cup of sugar instead of one and a half cups of sugar. I think I probably should have mashed these down a little bit more, but I'm gonna do my best to mash these strawberries and I am supposed to cook this, um, that's the lemon juice. I'm supposed to cook this until it is 220 degrees Fahrenheit. But y'all already know I do not have a candy thermometer. So I am going to do my best. I think 15 to 20 minutes should work fine. Here is what I got out of the pot. It's very hot. Hopefully it is 220 degrees. Um... If this actually turns into a really good consistency, like a jam, y'all have no idea. I really, really, really love jams and um, fruit preserves. So if I am successful at making them at home, like that is like game over for me. One of my earliest memories is going to Pennsylvania Dutch country with my grandmother on a bus trip. And I just remember um tasting and trying um all of these different fruit preserves and jams at what probably was a farmer's market and i think that sparked my love for jams and fruit preserves and it is a very fond memory that i have with my grandmother now these pickles i bought these pickles um from aldi not well these are not pickles these are just cucumbers i am hoping to turn them into pickles i have this pickling spice that i have had in my cabinet for a long time that i need to use i'm also growing some dill in my window and so i want to use that too i'm just gonna stuff this in here i think that's fine i think And I do not have a specific recipe for these pickles. I'm just using my food scents. I have some vinegar and water equal parts, the pickling spices, some garlic, um, some a little bit of sea salt, some pepper, red pepper flakes, and the dill in my wrist. <laughs> and this jam is already starting to thicken up a little bit and that's just gonna go in the refrigerator overnight. It is the next day, I let my jam sit in the refrigerator and <laughs> if you can't tell by how excited I am I have jam I made jam let me show y'all look at that
<laughs> these crackers are the only thing that I have um, to eat this jam with. It's so good. Y'all, I swear that this is a game changer. It looks good. It tastes good. Um, I'm not sure if there is a correlation between the amount of sugar and the thickness of this. If y'all know, please let me know in the comments. But I did reduce the sugar content and I'm thinking it could be a little thicker. Um, but I'm still happy with this consistency. It's really good. Um, in addition to the lemon juice, um, I added the lemon zest, which the recipe said it was optional. I'm going to link the recipe down below because this is really good. And all right. Um, so my uh, cucumbers are already um, starting to pickle. I actually could eat them like this, but I want to let them sit for another couple of days. Look at the dill. I want to let them sit for another couple of days to let the um, brine infused. I think that I'm, I think I'm saying that right. Um, but I shake it every now and then. Um, but I think these are going to turn out really well. The brine tastes really, really good. So I'm hoping all of that goodness makes it into the actual cucumbers and eventually my pickles. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for me today. Thank y'all for hanging in there with me while I attempted two new things, the jam and the pickles. The jam came out really, really good. The pickles are yet to be seen, but I will keep y'all updated when I actually open them and eat them. <laughs> um, the school year is winding down, so I will have more time, definitely more energy to do some exciting projects and some more cooking and hopefully um y'all can come along for the ride but i will see you next time when i am in the kitchen doing something else <laughs> i'm just eating crackers and jam